If you're struggling with converting leads to sales, you can use these marketing tips for any product, service, or business opportunity using the 80-20 rule. All that's coming right up. Many online marketers don't understand the difference between marketing and selling. That's why so many affiliate marketers, online marketers, and just online entrepreneurs in general struggle with converting leads to sales. They're selling rather than marketing. So if you should be marketing 80% of the time and selling only 20% of the time, then what are you doing wrong and how can you focus your efforts? Let's talk about the marketing aspect which is 80% of your time. You should be building desire, cultivating trust, establishing authority and credibility, educating, and qualifying and disqualifying. So first, let's quickly jump into who we should be targeting. The three best groups to target are people searching for your thing. So not specifically searching for the name of your thing, but searching for the category. Let's use skincare as an example. Rather than searching for or targeting for proactive skincare, you can be targeting the category, which is acne treatment products. Second is people with a history of buying your thing. A great example is the weight loss industry. So for example, are you on the Atkins diet? Well, let me tell you the truth about the Atkins diet. And then you transition into your diet. And third thing is people who have a problem that you can solve. For these people, you want to talk about them. And you want to talk about their problem. And you want to talk about how to solve it. You don't necessarily want to talk right away about how you can solve it. But you want to give them some options. And where do you find all of these people? You find them in congregations. I learned this key point from a guy named Russell Brunson and he talks about how people with similar interests congregate in similar areas. So one obvious example would be Facebook groups. So people with similar interests will go to the same Facebook group. Same thing goes with forums and other social platforms dedicated to unique interests. So now that we talked about that, let's jump back to our 80% building desire. Determine what questions they might be asking before they buy. So for example, what is the best travel destinations for young couples? You can answer that question by saying X destination is best for young couples who want to blah. And X destination is best for other young couples who want to blah too. Cultivate their trust. Always lead with value rather than information about your product, service, or business opportunity. For example, you could have an article that says, three things you hate about your boss. People going to this link would probably be open to a business opportunity. Establish authority and credibility. So show your proof. Show some social comments or your commissions dashboard, or show some testimonials. Educate. Now this might possibly be done in the cultivate trust area, but basically you can provide them with free training or a free video on how to solve X problem. And you educate them on why doing it this way, why the solution is the top solution. And lastly, you want to qualify and disqualify because obviously it's gonna be more useful for your time in following up with people who are quality leads. So for example, this new diet is for people who have tried other diets before and have failed, rather than someone who's starting a new diet. So here's a couple examples of selling versus marketing. Let's say we have the world's best grass seed. So selling, we say, we have the best grass seed in the world. Marketing, we might say, three simple tips to the greenest lawn in the neighborhood. Or maybe you have a business opportunity. The greatest comp plan in the history of direct sales. We pay out 15 different ways. 
that's selling. People are going to look at that and be like, loser, that's BS, that probably doesn't work. But marketing, you can say five proven ways to make a side income even with a full-time job. Now people might actually be interested and say, hmm, I wonder if these five ways could work for me. Or how about we jump back to the weight loss industry? Our weight loss shake is made from the highest quality ingredients. That's selling. Marketing, on the other hand, you might say something like, 10 fast, easy, fat-burning recipes your whole family will love. And within that article, you might say, hey, that ingredient you used in this recipe, you can get it over here. And that might be an affiliate link or a link to your product. So after hearing some of those examples, do you think you're selling or you're marketing? Comment below with the word busted if you think you've been selling rather than marketing. And finally, the selling aspect, 20% of your time. It's probably what you've been doing most of this time. You present your offer, you sell it, you have a video sales letter, you have a long form sales page. If you're not sure how to sell, I would suggest to learn how to create sales funnels. Check out my sales funnel playlist uh, for more information about different types of sales funnels you can use. Now that you've learned some great marketing tips for any product, you can start to master your strategy for 80% marketing and 20% selling. If you're still struggling with your marketing message, join our Facebook group where we talk about passive income and marketing strategies. The link is in the description below. Like and share this video, hit subscribe, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you.